Okay, what's up everybody? For all you that don't know me, my name's uh, Jordy at Carving Fusion. And uh, today we got a piece of cottonwood bark here. Yep, cottonwood bark. Um, I'm going to car quickly carve a wood spirit in here. This video is not going to be really about uh, a wood spirit, okay? It's going to be about these. Little mushrooms I made with epoxy sculpt. I'll go over how I did them later in the video. But I want to carve the wood spirit. And I think... My mind will open up once I start carving. I think I'll make like little ledges, like carve little ledges in here for the mushrooms to stick out. I think I got about 20 of them made. I still have to put them together and paint them. But yeah, so that's what this video will be about is these little mushrooms. I don't know if they're magic or not, but they're mystical. Okay, anyway, so let me uh, get start carving this wood spirit and then we'll be back talking about this and I'll talk, I'll stop at key points, okay? So I'm gonna try and make little ledges. I don't know, whatever. Hey Ben, Studio on the Lake, how you doing there, bud? And uh, just car raw, good old skipper. Okay, so this is like uh, probably a 15 minute carving for me, guys. So when you do all your wood spirits, like don't be intimidated by what it if it looks like a wood spirit. What what like what is a wood spirit? Somebody if somebody says this doesn't look like a says this does not look like a wood spirit. My my email address is Canadian One Dude at gmail.com and you tell me why this doesn't look like a wood spirit. Actually, you tell me what a wood spirit's supposed to look like. Because if you think you know what a wood spirit is supposed to look like, well, I hate to say this word because it's a terrible word, you are probably the stupidest person in this world, on this world, okay? So anyways, you guys, once you get your nose established, your eyes established, if you want to do real eyes or whole eyes, it doesn't matter, and your, and your mouth established, okay. So once you get your nose established, this line here, and your nose established, once you get that established, then you're on your way, you guys. Then you can do it any way you want, right? Okay, so anyways, um, here's some cliffs I got in there, so the mushrooms are gonna go in there. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my favorite um, Minwax Poly Shade. This is Bombay Mahogany. It's kind of like a reddish color. This is my favorite color, still is. I'm certain, so I'm sure it will change soon enough, but right now this is my favorite, favorite freaking color. Okay, so this is what I'm going to put on here, and then uh, we'll be back. Yep, we'll be back. Okay, you guys can see there I got it all poly shaded and sanded. So you can see I got my little cliffs here, whatever you want to call them. I got them deep dug in there because I believe I will use uh, some epoxy stuff for that, but we won't talk about that at this point um because i still have to put together all the freaking little mushrooms so you guys can see like hair i got the hairs coming from behind who who cares you know who cares guys do it the way you want even if it's not a wood spirit or any kind of carving that you want and trust me i have been really lucky with haters i've had one or two and they're they're gone now it's just easy enough to delete and block right so but in real life you'll get people that don't realize like you put all your time and effort into it and they'll say like it might not be a wood spirit say if it's like a dolphin you're a lady and it's a or a guy i don't know whatever but you go carved a dolphin in it and you can see the dolphin in it but you show it to one of your friends and and they'll be like <clears throat> well what is it you know what is it jordy what do you mean what is it well, what is it be like, well, it's a dolphin. It is. And then you start going like this. This is what you do. You go A, B, C, D. And they'll be like, why are you saying the alphabet, Jordy? Well, I'm saying the alphabet to make sure that you can read this. That's right. Can you read it? 
We'll do it then and beat it. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to these mushrooms. So I made these a couple days. These are epoxy sculpt. Hold on a minute, guys. Let me get the containers and um, we'll, I'll show you quickly what I do here. All right. Oh, boy. This is going to be like uh, just, oh, man. Okay, guys, for the people that don't know, this is the epoxy sculpt. This is These are the larger containers. You can get this stuff on Amazon. It's like 45 bucks or something. Okay, so it's it's um, what you do is you just take out a little bit here. That's even too much because I just want to show you guys how I made these little mushrooms. And then take out a little bit here. And you don't need to put the stuff in the oven, guys. It dries naturally hard. What? Okay, so make them equal balls or nuggets or whatever you want to freaking call them. Okay, so you guys watch. Like this stuff's like plastic now. It's not quite as hard as plastic, but it's like plastic and it's carvable. So all you do is you just mix this together, okay? So pretend we're fast forwarding and I mix it together and it's all for two minutes and it's all nice mixed together. Okay, then you just kind of go like this. You can get your fingers wet too, guys. It helps. And so there, and then I just got a pencil and I do this. There's your freaking little Smurf mushroom cap. If you, you like, they're a lot better when I didn't do it on camera. I spent more time smoothing them out with water, right? But then the stalks, you just kind of roll it up. And I just did this and gave them some shapes and stuff like that. So they all have different shapes, right? And I just let it sit and dry for a day. This stuff cures, they say, 24 hours, but it starts getting harder and after a couple hours and you can give it better shape. But that's all. Okay? So that's it's fun to use, guys. You don't need to have an oven to cook the clay. You don't, know how, you don't have to put it in there for a certain amount of time. You don't need a kiln. It just covers the basics. Okay, so now I've got to friggin' figure out what color I'm going to... First of all, first of all, I've got to glue all the stalks and the caps together. So here's a big cap. Here's a big stock, and I got to glue that in there like that. Okay, so I'm going to use Star Blonde Super Glue, so I'll set up for that. As I figure, I should show you this is parchment paper. You can use wax paper. You can get it wet. This is the stuff that I just mixed up. I thought I'd just make it and put it aside. So that's I just rested on the wax paper kind of stuff, right? So you can pull it off and it doesn't stick and whatever. Okay, so this one is already painted. It's an older one, but I, I decided it's probably better to paint the heads first, the mushroom heads, before I glue them on. But now I can't figure out a color I need. I want to paint them. I don't freaking know. Red. Then the whole piece will be too red. I'm just, forget it. I'm just going to do blue. Ugh. I don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Eeny, meeny. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hot hooker. Oops, I mean a hot looking brunette by her toe. If she hollers, don't let her go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This is it. Okay, guys, so I've changed my mind once again. I'm going to glue the caps on the stalks. And I might change color by then too. So this is Starbond stuff. Yes, I'm a Starbond affiliate. If you buy it from the link below, I make a couple cents. It helps out the channel. Don't worry, I'm not getting rich. So this is called Starbond. This is CA glue. Basically, it's exactly the same thing as super glue. They can't call it super glue because super glue is a trademark name. So, okay. So this is the accelerator. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm no pro at this. I just started using this stuff. I'm going to pour a little bit in this cap here. Okay, so there we got some in. Get it on the walls. Okay. So I'm going to put this cap down on one of those holes there like that. Now what I'm going to do here, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get the accelerator on here. And I'm just going to put it in the cap. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero, minus one, two. Ready for takeoff. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to pour more in here. Let's see. I'll pour a little bit more in. You guys know how I go through epoxy. I'm going to go through this stuff like crazy. I'm going to hit it with the accelerator again. Okay. 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 
Sucker's in there now. Okay, so you guys can see all my mushrooms are all here drying. So this is Mod Podge I got in these little containers here. Okay, just the regular standard gloss Mod Podge. Um, I figured I'll make the caps a little bit kind of red and maybe keep the stalks gray. So what I'm going to do here is just pour some red into this. Uh, this is dollar store cheap paint. Okay. Into the Mod Podge. And let's just hope it doesn't go pink. Okay, so uh, I might just put a little touch of black in there just to make it not so uh, pinkish color. Uh oh. Yeah, so this is, I'm no pro at this, guys, just so you know, right? Okay, so they're just a bit more darker now because I don't want them to be too bright. So we'll just kind of, this is kind of like burgundy color now or whatever. It's kind of like a purple color. I'm happy with that. So now I can, if you guys could see this, now I can put them in the holes and let it dry. Well, that's not working too great, but so it's off the table. See that? Okay, so let's sit there drying. Just mix it up a bit, right? Sorry, shoot the cameraman. Okay, so like there's red here. Let's see. Okay, put some red in there. Whatever you want to do. They're your, you're, they're your mushrooms, guys. So then we'll just put this here. And let it dry. So it's perfect. Okay, so there you go. Boom. Painted mushroom, put it down here. And let it dry. Okay, so I'll get these done, and then uh, I'll be back, I guess. I don't know, should I, could I, would I? I don't know, do you know? I don't know. Okay, you guys can see the field of mushrooms is drying. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'll just let them dry. I still got to modge podge them again, and I just put some blue and red together. I don't care, yep, the sea of mushrooms. Look at them all flowing with the wind this way. Whoosh. Okay, you can still see there the ocean of uh, shrooms. So what I'm going to do now is because like uh, some of them kind of got some bright blue on them. It's a little bit too bright for my liking. So I'm going to put my camera in the uh, camera mount here. Still working? Yep, still working. And I got this scotch bright stuff here, whatever you want to freaking call it. I'm just going to kind of hit it with this just to kind of dole up all the colors. That's all. Okay, so I'll get that done, then we'll start gluing the um, things in, the mushrooms in. Okay, so the sea of shrooms, jeez. Okay, so the sea of shrooms, I hit it with one more coat of Mod Podge, that white on there. It's just stuff drawing, zoom in. Okay, so now I need to figure out how I'm going to get them to sit inside these deep cuts that I got in here behind the little cliffs things that I got the ledges. Okay, so um, let's figure this out here. How are you going to do this, Joe? I've been down this road before. I know what the hell to do, but I just can't think of it. It just happens sometimes. You know? You know. Okay, so this is going to be super tricky to do and film at the same time. So once again, I got this Star Bond. Star Bond Accelerator. And I got this uh, glue. This is the medium thick stuff, the black stuff, okay? So let's see if I can do this on camera for one of them. Let's just start out with uh, this one here. Let's just pour a little bit in there. We're going to do one at a time. Okay, so let's find a dry mushroom. Kind of just put that there like that. See it's sitting there. And let's get the accelerator. Spray it in there. And pour some more glue in there. Just get her done. Just get her done. I need a better light in there is what I need. Okay, so that seems pretty solid. I'll leave it alone and um, get this light set up better. Let's see if I can get uh, another one in here. Got this one. Look, it's a little twisty one. It's still wet from the poly uh, 
Mod Podge. Um, this one can probably go right there like that, don't you think? I think, yep. Okay, so let's see this. Like I said, super tricky to do being on camera. Okay, there it is in there. Let's get this in here. Kind of tilt it back a bit. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, hurry up and dry. Yeah, because once this stuff's dry... Well, Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, obviously that one didn't take. Let's see. I'm trying to... Well, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Let's see if... I'm trying to hold this with one hand and do it all with one hand while I'm filming. Okay, so let's pour it in here. I'll do a good epoxy pour in here after when I'm done, right? There we go. That will fix the problem. I'm telling you right now, that will be mint. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. There we go. Okay. So let, let me get the rest of these mushrooms. And I can't do it and film all at the same time. It's just too nuts. Okay, guys. So that's going to be a wrap for today. Here it is. You know, I hope this video uh, helps somebody open their mind. I hope it's, um, well, just reach the right person that wants to get creative. You can paint these mushrooms any color you want to paint them. I just got some dollar store moss in there. You can get some moss out of your own back off your roof if you want. Use that. And um, you can see here where it's shiny there. The um, the uh, CA glue dripped down there. I poured too much in the hole up here, but who cares? It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So I hope this video has helped somebody. And I hope everybody's good. And I hope it shows you how to open up your mind and just... Let her go, guys. You know what I mean? Let her rip. Don't be intimidated by people's opinions. Got a couple little guys up there. Super simple project. Super simple project, like the mushrooms. The wood spirits are going to take you guys some time to get the hang out of. But what you do, carve yourself some little channels like this. Do whatever you want. Make the mushrooms again, any color you want. Anyways, instead of keep on rambling, I hope you're all good. Um, keep listening for this sound Ben Studio Lakes videos and uh, just carve Rob you need to make some more videos soon here please I know you're busy with your truck and your house getting ready for winter but we need some more videos bud okay so we'll talk to you guys soon and take care alright see you later